Good morning, everybody. I've got Harley down here, and I got Hannah. Well, she's over here, so <laughs> who knows what she's gonna do? So happy Sunday, fun day. Um, gonna watch Trinity this morning because I got I've been going, going, and I'm I'm really tired. And even with the driver, it's just it's too much today. So I just want to kind of hang out here and have him help me get some stuff done around here. Because he does, he's like kind of a, a Lorenzo of all trades. <laughs> so, um, anywho, today is, boy, I'm always excited to see what the title is. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sunday is, today is October 10th. Homework assignment is to read Colossians 3, verses 1 through 17. And Psalms 27, verses 4 through 6. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. I think we forget that. Colossians 3, verse 2. The title for today is Looking Up. Things are looking up. What joy I experience when I look up to Christ and look away from earthly things. In Christ, I found find peace and harmony. That's for sure. There is compassion, kindness, humility, and patience. Something it took me a long time to learn. It is the way God intended things to be for us. His chosen ones. At the same time, the earth is full of evil and wrongdoing. That's for sure. There is anger, wrath, malice, slander, and I've seen talk. Heck, I know. I've been talked about so many times. It's insane what I hear about myself. And I'm like, wow, I wonder where that started. And it's very hurtful. But when I hear it, I look at the people and I go, if you really believed what they said to you and whomever fabricated a story about me, you should know me better than that. Just saying. I don't tell stories about people. I only, I am only factual. And if the brutal honesty, the truth hurts, well then do something about your life. Because that's all I speak is the truth. It is what it is. I can no longer stand to live with these things. I even see them in my own life. Sadly, although I hate what is in this world, I am immersed in it, and I break God's commandments. But praise God, He mercifully forgives me, forgives my sins and those of the rest of the world. They were atoned by the precious blood of His beloved Son. When I am grieved by my sin, my only response is to keep looking up. As I set my mind on things that are above, I contemplate a sinless future existence in heaven. Exactly. How wonderful is that? Except I've been practicing it here. I am inspired by the Holy Spirit to want to do good. I become filled with a sense of peace and joy through Christ that is far greater than anything I can find on earth. Sweet bliss. Things are looking up. One thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Psalms 27, 4. Name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It truly is amazing when you have these humans that are put on your path, just like my friend Joanne that has cancer that invited me on her boat. And I showered with her with some gifts that I had just bought, just to have with no purpose. Well, he knew why I bought them, because he showed them to me, and there were it was a reason why I needed to get them. 
and she didn't expect to get from me. But I wanted to extend this thank you. To go on a boat ride in the Florida Keys is beyond a blessing and a reward. And then what a bonus for them to take me on a boat ride to see like a little celebrity stars tour. In fact, one of the homes, um, the first home that we saw was a uh, the woman that um, did the recipe or actually made up the apple pies for McDonald's. <laughs> and her family is still here. And then, then it was Demi Moore's old house that I, apparently I think Arnold Schwarzenegger owned before that because there's a statue of him playing golf is what I understand, but I don't know. I haven't done any fact checking on that, so I don't know. I, that's just what I was told. And then to see this fortress that he has built for his staff was not that much smaller than his own home. And I can't even imagine what it, the whole grounds look like because from what we could see from the water was exquisite beyond beyond my wildest dreams. And then apparently Tom Selleck owns an island past that that he rents out. Who knew? <laughs> so anyway, um, and I guess I think it's Beyonce that has an island here as well, or one of them, I don't know. But I haven't, I've been told that, but haven't researched that either. So, so I know that I was on a boat ride with this wonderful group of people that welcomed me like family. Um, and, and they, they gave me a trip that I'll never forget because they're lifelong friends. And that's what unconditional love is all about. I met her at lunch with my friend, Peppermint Patty, that I met in aerobics. Talk about a great path he's got me on. Every once in a while, you're tested. And I was totally tested by a human on more than one occasion. But this time around, the second time around, I saw right through it. it. Took me a week and a half to do it. But, and it, I suffered a lot because of it. But you're tested. And you have to see really why you're experiencing those feelings. So if if you're going through something right now, really look at the whole picture. Maybe it's not what you think that's causing it all. Maybe it's something else that's causing you pain and suffering. I don't know. I just know that when something is, there's negative behavior around me, the pain in my head and my neck is excruciating. And, um, this restaurant that I went to over a week ago really did a number on me. I didn't realize how that negative energy was going to impact me living in my little happy, happy, positive world. As the singer kept drinking and the darkness kept setting in, the red lights, I, 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 just, I, I just still have not been able to digest it all. To end up laying on a floor in a restaurant to feel peace really opened my eyes. Because after I laid on that floor and stood up to start to walk towards the bar, I could feel the negative energy. It was almost like it was knocking me over. So I finally laid back on the floor and my little Coast Guard Kyle just swooped me right up and carried me right out of there. It's just, it's just unbelievable the amount of negativity that's out there right now in the darkness and how it can totally debilitate you like it did me. And I've been carried out of restaurants or, well, not restaurants, but I've been carried out of bars before because I've been crocked. And it was different this time to feel that darkness trying to attack me. Yeah, no, mm-mm. I feel like I need to start carrying my Bible around for armor, in addition to my strong faith, because the darkness is escalating. And with Halloween approaching, you can see more darkness in the world right now. 
even though a lot of people don't look at it that way, there is a lot of people that do. And then it brings out more evil in them. So, I don't know, just my, I guess my advice is if you, if you're suffering from whatever and you need to reach out to someone, you know, I, I listen. I have never judged anyone in my life. And if you need somebody to talk to, just reach out to me. Um, I have a Telegram channel, Silence No More. I have my uh, Facebook um, page under Natalie Kokonowski. And then, you know, I've got my YouTube channel, which you can make a comment there and I can, you know, get with you that way. Um, and I have my own um, website, Silence No More. So either way, if you need somebody to talk to, I am an ordained minister. And I didn't realize how much I had really stepped into that role until I really started looking back recently at different things that I've been doing. And I've been ministering ever since I was ordained, even prior to that. I even posted something um, from years ago that I didn't realize that I had done. I had forgotten. So it wasn't like I wasn't listening what was going on politically or spiritually. I frankly didn't have the time because I had to earn a living to support myself because I've always been by myself most of my life. And that's okay. I was saddened before because I was alone. I forgot he was with me. My Grandma June's always been with me. And she is a part of me. She is in me. And I have seen it in some pictures recently that I never saw before, which was beyond a blessing and a reward. So today's title, Looking Up, means something. Not just to me, not just to you, but it means something to everybody here on earth. Because we need to look up. Because in God, we trust. So on that note, hope you have a fantastic Sunday. I just heard a car door, so I'm hoping Lorenzo's here. Because I told him to take his time, because he's been working a lot this week at his new job, and he has to drive a lot. And I said, we're going to watch Trinity here and then get busy. <laughs> so have a fantastic day, everybody. Hope you enjoyed our video. And hope you have a fun Sunday. Bye.